What is going on, everybody? Erock here, bringing you guys a brand new video. Hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today's video, I'm going to show you how to overclock your controller. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you a PS5 controller being overclocked on PC. And uh, if this helps you, leave a like on the video. And uh, let's just get into it. You're going to need two programs, all right? You're going to need DS4 Windows which is going to show you the the controller readings in in the, the milliseconds of your uh, thumbsticks and then you're going to need a uh, another the the driver that uh, basically overclocks the, the, the controller so uh, basically DS4 Windows just go to Google type it in um, I use the second link use whatever link works for you you download it when you download it and then open it up it'll look like this double click we're gonna click run right now there's no controllers being connected obviously doing this all on the basis of this video to show you that it works you plug the controller in it's turned on boom shows up click profile the default one hit edit go to controller readings it's going to show you that my current input delay is 3.55 milliseconds, which for a controller being plugged in, that's basically the best you're going to get while it's plugged in. Uh, so, yeah, you can see this is the controller. I'm moving the sticks. OK. All right. <clears throat> so what we're going to want to do. All right. So for now, we're going to exit this out. We're going to exit out of DS4 Windows completely. Boom. Next link. Both of these are going to be in the description box, actually. Um, it is the GitHub right here. Click download. Trust it's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okay. Show and folder. Click driver. Set up. Yes. I don't know if you guys saw that little thing that popped up. It just said, "Do you want to basically do it?" You click yes. You're gonna get this guy pop up. You're gonna want to filter the devices to all. Okay. Now you're looking for the device that says, let me find it real quick. All right. So I must have been blind because it was here the whole time. All right. So it's going to say something along the lines of audio endpoint, headset, microphone in parentheses, wireless controller. This is the one that you want. So make sure you are highlighted on it. Click filter on device. Make sure that is checked default drop down to 1000 boom just click in this white space a few times we are going to unplug just to show you because the polling rate did go to a thousand okay plugging it back in sorry should have showed you showed you uh, me re removing the controller and as you can see it comes back in that it is on 1000 polling rate, the best it could be. So now we're going to close. We are going to reopen <clears throat> DS4 Windows. Again, this is just to show you the controller reading. Boom. 0.2.05.1 point point And again, me moving the control sticks around. It's super simple to do. I made a video on this previously and some people couldn't didn't understand it. That's literally everything. Um, I guess do it your own risk. I know some people said it, it it hurt them last time. I don't know. It's super easy to do. That's how you can overclock your controller. If you have any questions, um, I guess I'll try and answer them unless they're I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> but uh, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. Uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe, coming over to the Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash erock. And uh, that's about it. I'll see you guys in the next one.